And everybody should know that's how love goes. It's good for the soul. Oh, I got a long way to go, but it won't stop the pain. No, no. That's the kind of thing that keeps me coming back again and again. Till I see your face. Who's my little baby? Oh, she's sleeping. Oh. Oh, good. All right. Come on, baby. Yeah, Maybe you should five. see this cake. You know, uh, Daddy's tired. I'm gonna go lay down for a minute. All right. I'll be back now for dinner. Okay. 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 Get your rest. That's a good idea. Uh -huh. Easy now. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh. Take it easy now. Yep. A lot of stairs. I'm glad you're home, baby. Mm -hmm. Home. Can we please not make a big deal out of this? It's okay. Okay. Maybe you just need a little help. Terry. Yeah. Terry. Terry. I'm, I'm tired. never been too tired before. You know? Especially for that. He didn't want a blowjob. That just doesn't happen. Thank you. Well, maybe you're not doing it right and he just doesn't want to hurt your feelings. Ooh. 
Exactly. If you need some schooling, sister girl, just let me know. Because that's all Kenny wanted to do his first night home. Over and over and over again. Do we really need this information? Well, I do. Hmm. And of course, the only thing he could do is lay there. Doctor says it's going to be a couple of months before he's better. And he's just extremely grumpy and mean. Great. Taking care of him is going to be a lot of fun. Mm-hmm. Seems like the only time there's a smile on his lips is when my lips are on Oh, I know your mouth is tired. See? Okay, I'm leaving. Uh, okay, okay, okay. All right, back to Damon. Back to Damon. I don't want to talk about Damon. How are you doing, Bird? Physically. Well, um, I haven't leaked in over a week. Oh, so you're out of the Dotties? You can call them diapers, Maxine. And uh, no, I'm not out of them yet. So, okay. I know what you can do for Damon. Here we go. Oh, Buy Lord. yourself a funky little dress, cut up to here, fix him a nice little dinner, and whip it on him. <laughs> <laughs> Who was that on the phone? That was the doctor's office with my test results. It's not a fluke. My, my bladder is healed. I'm all better. Oh, that's mm. great, babe. Mm. 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 <sighs> now maybe my man will want to be with me. What are you talking about? You think I didn't notice that you haven't been into me lately? That's crazy. I'm always into you. You know what I'm talking about. Now, I love you for nursing me back to health and for just being there, but you haven't tried to get with me since the accident. Oh. Look, um, can we talk about this later? I don't want to be late. Oh, I'm sure you don't. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Bye. We'll talk about it later. Okay. I'm taking care of children. Ahmad, I'm coming up there now. And I wouldn't want to be you if you're still not dressed. There must be something about changing diapers that makes women trip. Because the minute Aunt Terry started taking care of Brooke, she turned into mom. Maybe whiffing all that baby pee makes you crazy. Hey, Al, Ricky, it's Matt. Al, I need you to go to the University of Chicago Economics Building. Ricky goes to 45th and Michigan, northeast corner. Yeah, you got a dead battery there. And the first one to finish, go to Tempo Rent-A-Car. You know the place. Mm-hmm. Thanks. Bye. Right. You didn't send them to Tempo last, did you? They called last. But they're a contract customer. You got to figure in the distance. Well, I've been doing it first come, first serve. It's been working fine. Yeah, um, you've been lucky. But, you know, Tempo is in Skokie, and at this time of day, it'll take us at least three hours to get there if we go anywhere else first. Okay, well, I'll pull Al and send him to Skokie right now. Yeah, but then the job you gave Al won't get done, and we've already committed ourselves. Shit. Hi, this is Lila at Chadway Towing. Um, listen, Kenny helped you guys out with a tow back at Kaminsky Park. 
and I was wondering if you could help us out. We wanted Skokie. Oh, you can? Good, good. Let me give you the details. Yeah, it's that um, Tempo rental car. Mm-hmm. Skokie. The common brown or gray hippopotamus is found in Africa and is one of the largest four-footed animals. They are semi-aquatic, spending most of the day with only the tops of their heads above water. Oh. Can I get you something to drink? Oh, no, but you can get me something I can eat. Is that your way of saying that you'd like something else? Uh, you know what? No, thanks. You have to eat, Kenny. Well, okay. Now, don't tell me what I have to do. I'll make a deal with you. You eat this soup, and I'll make you a Cornish hen. Get out. Get, get out. Just get, get out, Terry. Thank you. Better be gone. Can we talk first? Yeah. Have you thought about where we're going with this? I have no idea what she's talking about. Yeah, of course. Me too. I think it's time to kiss. That I understand. Cool. Now I've got to pretend I've done this before. Can I have a feel too? Feel on what? Whatever. If you had any respect for me, you wouldn't okay. even... Okay. Can I have another kiss? Okay. I'm the man. Hi. It's time for your compresses. What? You're supposed to get cold compresses on your back. Oh. Come on over to this side of the bed. Come on. Oh, you know what? Wait, wait, wait a minute. Wait, wait. Okay. Sorry. Uh huh. We're going to keep these on for 20 minutes, and then take them off for 20, and then we're going to put them back on for 20, okay? Terry, just come back in 20 minutes. Fine. So I have plenty to do for the other children in the house. I thought I was going to miss him fall asleep. Huh? Hey. Right. How you doing? I'm all right. Come here, I want to talk to you. Quiet. What's up? About what you said yesterday? Mm-hmm. The diapers were a little rough on me. I mean, I, I admit it. I was a little turned off. Yeah, I knew it. I mean, but it's all good. I mean, if anything, it, it just proves that we ain't all about sex, which is cool. Is it? I think so. Well, what if I had to wear those things forever? <laughs> you know what? Wh why are we talking about something that didn't happen? I'm just saying, I'm, what if I need them when I get older? You know, why my husband won't be attracted to me anymore? Babe, I was being honest. Can I get a little credit for that? Oh, well, the Klan is honest about hating black people. Should they get credit for that? What? Look, I'm not gonna always look like this. 
You know, how do I know that you're going to still want me when I don't? Now you're not being fair. I don't want to be fair. I want to be honest. Champagne? No, thanks. I'm cool. Okay. <clears throat> so, how's Kenny? Uh. Are you still attracted to me? Why do you have to be so dramatic? I'm trying to seduce you. And you're making small talk. I'd say that's pretty dramatic. Well. <sighs> the only thing I can tell you is I feel like shit. And it makes it hard to be romantic. Sweetie. You know, we talked about this. The car accident was not your fault. I'm walking around. Kenny might never be the same. None of us will ever be the same, Damon. I almost lost my entire family. That changes you, but I have to keep going. We all do. You're right. Okay. You're right. Hey, are you ready to eat? I don't want your gourmet feast to get cold. Yeah? Let's go. I get your glass. You didn't call me from the office today. Didn't need to. Finally getting the hang of things, so I don't need to keep bugging you 50 times a day. So everything's going fine, huh? Well, I wouldn't say all of that. It's a lot of hard work. I was, uh, thinking of ordering new timesheets. You know, Lila has got her stuff together. She has worked at the biggest tow yard in Milwaukee, so you know, you just lean on her. You won't get into trouble. I'll do that. Good. Yes, I did. The doctor said you need to take a walk every day. And now would be a good time. Yeah, when I start feeling up to it, he also said. Excuse me, Brooks bottle's ready? And I'll be back to help you get dressed in ten minutes. And I would rather not hear your mouth about it. I used to hate history. 
thought it was nothing but a lot of stupid dates I couldn't remember. Until Callie started breaking it down. She sees the whole thing like she's watching a movie. World War II, Germany had England under serious pressure. What if we were, like, just sitting here, and we heard, like, this loud siren, and, and bombs started falling out of the sky? It'd be messed up. Yeah. England came through, though, just like Erlita. Oh, please. If England was like some girl wrestler, Germany would have won. But see, England is like the rock. They threaten to take those bombs and stick them straight up Germany's butt. Well, forget England and Germany. Lita can be down the rock any time, any day. No time, no way. You're forgetting. I have the unstoppable moonsault. You're forgetting the power of the people's elbow. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Elbow this. Here come the rock bottom. <laughs> now what? Now what? Okay, okay, now okay. What? Okay, you caught me. The rock's stronger. All right, then. All right, then. Even The Rock wouldn't have seen that move coming. I must be pretty good at this kissing thing. Now what do I do? That's right, I'm the man. Now just play it cool. You want to do it again? Can I get a feel too? You mean like my boobs? Yeah. I don't think I'm supposed to do that. Another kiss is cool. I've already got a girlfriend, so what does that make Callie? A girl with a serious death grip. You okay? Yeah. No, I'm tired. I got a serious headache. I gotta cook dinner. Why are you grinning at me like that? Because I have good news. I've hired you a babysitter for nights and weekends. <sighs> She's Josefina's niece. You're gonna love her. She's smart, responsible. Terry, Terry, the last thing I need is another person in this house doing what I should be doing. Will you stop being so hard on yourself? You're wrong, Maxine. You do need help. Now, I've timed out Brooke and Jeremiah's feedings. I've plotted menus and wardrobe for Kelly. Okay, and I've reorganized your bedroom to make things easier for Kenny to reach. And the physical therapist can come an additional afternoon per week so I can get a break from Kenny yelling at me. Okay. He does that because he needs more TLC, and so do my kids. And that needs to come from me or a family member, not some stranger. Why do you have to be so stubborn? Just try it. No. Look, I may be tired, but this is my family. And weekends and evenings are the only time I have with them. Well, she's already here, Maxine. In the kitchen, familiarizing herself. Oh, no, you didn't. Hi, I'm Jasmine. Hope you don't mind. I thought you might like some tea when you got home. I don't want any tea, and I won't be needing you. Jasmine, I'm sorry. It's okay. You want me to come back tomorrow? You don't work here. You're unhired, okay? Bye. What'd I do? Nothing. It's just not gonna work out. I'm really sorry. I got things to do. Excuse me, but you need to be going. What you need to do is back up. Little girl, if you don't get out of my hey, house. Hey, enjoy your tea. I'm really sorry, Jasmine. I'll call you. Proud of yourself. You're gonna beat up a 16-year-old girl. This is my house, Terry. Now, if you don't want to help out anymore, that's cool. But you have no right to stick somebody into my family's life. Don't want to help out? Did you really just say that to me? I quit my job to help out. See, here we go. I asked you about a thousand times if you were sure you wanted to do that. How else would you have gotten by if I didn't? I don't know, Terry. But I don't plan on spending a whole lot of time kissing your ass because you gave up your life to screw up mine. Well, I definitely don't want to screw up your life, Maxine. I definitely don't want to do that. Come on, baby. What is this guy going to learn to pass the ball? Man, that is the new Jack athlete. Me, me, me. <laughs> oh, by the way, thanks for taking a mod to basketball practice. Oh, man, no problem. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> Kenny. Kenny, man, you hear me? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, uh, now I'm on Bird's list, you know. Hmm. She accused me of uh, 
being turned off by the diapers. I mean, she was right. I admitted to it, and she went off. So you admitted to something when you didn't have to? So you do it all the time. Not on purpose. I can't believe you intentionally gave yourself up. Well, now what am I supposed to do? Nothing else you can do. Rat it out. <laughs> yeah, you sure you all right? Hold up. Did you really kiss Keisha this time? Because last time you said you hit it, then turned around and said you did. I really did kiss her. For real. And I kissed Callie, too. What? Yep. Flaya, Flaya! So what you gonna do if Keisha finds out you were creeping with Callie? <laughs> She's not gonna find out. Because it's not happening again. So let's drop it. Man, you're tripping. Girls always find out. How? Just do. But you did what you're supposed to. A man ain't meant to be tied down with one woman. <laughs> hey, y'all ready? Player, player! Good to finally hang out with you. My brother says you ruled the 6-5 and house that. <laughs> that was a long time ago, man. Y'all got your towels? I know, I forgot them. I'll go get them. Hey, Ma, that's your mom. I know she don't want you using her good towels for the gym. All right. So give me some knowledge, player. How can I be down? Well, first you gotta be down with school and hard work. And then try to figure out how to do something legit better than anybody's ever done. Oh, man, come on. My brother told me you were big time rolling. Don't leave me hanging, player, player. Reggie, first of all, I ain't your player, player, or your roller, roller. My name is Lem. And when your brother was telling you how I was rolling, did he tell you how the cops cuff you so hard they damn near break your wrist? Or how it feels to stand there naked and barefoot on cold cement while somebody sticks a probe up your ass looking for drugs? Stick a what up my what? Mm -hmm. When you rolling, you gotta look over your shoulder because the game's getting blown away. Usually shot in the head. <laughs> or watching your mom cry when you get tried and sentenced. And then locked behind concrete and steel. Or watching your ass 24-7, because if the nothing to lose brothers don't get you, then the racist white boys will. And when you finally do get out, the game's all you got. Because don't nobody outside of it want to be around you. That's rolling, Reggie. Straight up. Don't nobody belong in the game that got a choice. Got him. Good, let's get up out of here. Hey, you all right? Yeah, yeah, I'm cool. All right. Morning. Since this gets in the oven, I need about five more minutes. Terry, I really do appreciate all you've been doing. Seriously, I'm just stressed out. I know. Hey! Hey. Terry, come look at your sister. Ooh, what in the world are you wearing, girl? <sighs> Something you can only wear the teeniest, tiniest thong under. Ah! <laughs> He's back. <laughs> That's right. No more damn diapers. <laughs> Which means we gotta celebrate. Okay, this Saturday, the Joseph sisters are going on a take-no-prisoners trip to the day spa. Okay. Well, I'm with it. <laughs> Sounds good to me. I bet you Lynn's happy to have you back to your old self. I guess. I mean, I asked him to go out last Saturday. All he wanted to do was sit at home, rent movies, and call it a night. Mm, I never thought I'd live to see the day where Lynn be acting like an old married man. Me either. Hey, how did your romantic date with Damon go? It didn't. Let me tell you something. Because I've been thinking about this. You cannot solve that man's problems for him. You know, maybe it's time for you to start worrying about Terry. Let Damon take care of himself. Mm -hmm. Women spend way too much time trying to be everything a man needs. Smart, but not too smart. <laughs> sexy, but not too sexy. You know, what about what I want? Maybe my husband ought to think I'm sexy, even if I'm fat, 
bald and toothless. I thought we was talking about Terry. I, I, I don't know what we're talking about anymore. You making biscuits? Uh-huh. You don't look like you're much in the mood for company, so I'll just get one beer and I'll get out of there. Spoke to your stepmother. She's worried about you. I'm fine. Damon, come on. This is me. We've known each other too long. That's cool. You don't want to talk? I'll just sit, have my one beer. That was tense. It's getting harder to practice. I miss things like cold beer. I might play one more year. Then what? I don't know. Maybe I'll come home, finish school. Be there for my friends who need me. You were always there for a particular friend. Even when he didn't exactly treat you right. That's all in the past, Dee. Let's just uh, leave it there, okay? Remember when I used to say I'd never gotten myself into anything that I couldn't get out of? Are you talking about your girlfriend or the accident? Both. I almost killed her whole family. Have you told her how you feel? How much it bothers you? She knows and she wishes I'd stop tripping about it. Oh. So when's your next tournament? Two months in Paris. And then, <sighs> move on to the Chicago Open. Uh, what did I do to deserve this? I don't think I'm doing much good. You are in not. Uh, Here, come on. Get up on the couch. Come on. You better stop that. Well, I can still think straight. Matter of fact, you better leave. Okay, I'll leave. know that I still have that effect on you. But when we hugged, I could tell you were definitely turned on. There's not a man alive who can play that off. Kenny? Look who came to see you. What's up, boss hog? <laughs> and there you go trash talking. Boss hog? Well, whenever we play b-ball at lunch, it takes a crowbar to get him to pass the ball. Oh, well, that's because you guys don't understand the fine science of ball control, you know? <laughs> Speaking of which, did you see your boys lose last night? <laughs> I tried to tell you, they need help. But go on down with the ship if you want to. Go ahead. <laughs> you know, that, that's what I like about you, Lila. I mean, you don't gloat even when you're right. 
<laughs> well, you want something to drink? You know, some water, juice, you know, lemonade? Yeah, yeah, lemonade, that'd be great, yeah. Yeah, Maxine, could you? I got it. Thanks for taking care of the shop. Oh. So, uh, how's Max really doing? Everything is fine. Good. Hmm. The guys say, hey. Hmm. They say you better bring your butt back to work quick. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you know, everything's gonna be all right, Kenny. And I will make sure that Chad Waytowin is in the same shape you left it in. I promise. Thank you. Thank you. It's okay. All right. I was, um, uh, just telling Kenny that everything was fine at Chad Waytowin. Yeah. You know? I've been telling him the same thing ever since he came home. Maybe now that he's heard it from you, he'll believe it. from school. I'm his girlfriend, Keisha. His girlfriend? <laughs> Not as a girlfriend. It would be me. Excuse me? I don't think so. Guess what you think. You're gonna care if I catch you jogging my man. I'm so scared. You better be. So I look good to you now? Come on, Bird. How long am I going to have to hear this? Oh, you poor baby. Where are you going? Out. I thought you said you wanted to rent movies. Mm-mm. You wanted to rent movies. I wanted to go out. So I called Lisa and Clarice. You can pick up Jay at Maxine. So you were just going up and go out with your friends without having told me? Mm-hmm. Looking like that. Looking just like this. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up, y'all, for Tina. What the hell do you think you're doing bringing 
Jay in here. Where am I gonna find a babysitter at two in the morning? You shouldn't be here at all. And neither should you, so let's go. I ain't going nowhere. Oh, yes, you are. I am a grown woman. Who should have her ass home with her husband and her child. I'm not ready to go. If I have to drag your ass out of here, you leaving now. I was just having a good time. You're a married woman with a child. I'm only 26 years old and almost died in a car accident. I just want to live while I still can. And what's wrong with me hanging out with my friends? What's wrong is you didn't tell me before. And you were dressed like you were looking for something. Last week you didn't even want to touch me. And now you're worried about what I look like. I was being honest with you, Bird. And obviously, that was a mistake. Whatever, man. Check it out. He's on the phone. Okay. Mm. Well, you're in the house. Hey, shut up. Let me hear. Hi, Kelly. What you doing? Not much. So, when do you want to kiss again? Time out, time out, time out. Put down the phone. Um, could you hold on just a minute? Didn't you hear that? Yeah, she asked me when I wanted to kiss her. No, that breathing. Can't nobody talk and breathe like that at the same time. I'm telling you, there's somebody else on the phone. Man, you're crazy. My brother schooled me on this exact situation. Trust me, deny everything. Callie knows I kissed her. Just do it. You'll see. What do you mean, again? I never kissed you. Um, I gotta go. You got problems, dog. Your woman are trying to take you out. All right, you heard the click. He's off. He didn't kiss you. Yes, he did. Then why did he say he didn't? He didn't know I was on the phone. Well, I don't know, but we did kiss. With a uh, tongue and everything. Now I know you're lying. No, honestly, we did kiss. A and then he asked me for a feel. I don't believe you. Well, it's true, okay? Are you really, or you just don't want to have to listen to my you should be okay speech again? A little of both. I'm sorry, Damon. I haven't exactly been giving you what you need. You're a good man who cares about people, so of course the accident is going to bother you. And. I want you to take all the time that you need to deal with that. And if you need space, too, I'll respect that. I don't deserve you, Miss Joseph. <laughs> I know you don't. 
But I'm keeping you around anyway, Mr. Carter. Good night. Good night. No wonder you couldn't hear me. You don't wind up deaf, you keep this up. Keisha's here. Did you tell I was here? Of course I told her you were here. Boy, what's going on? None. Um, could you tell her you thought I was here, but I'm not? Come on up, Keisha. Mom. Uh-uh, you ain't gonna be that kind of man. I gonna do. Hi, Keisha will be the brother down. I gotta get some new friends. I need to talk to you. Bye. I'm just gonna tell her the truth, everything, and hope she forgives me. You dogged me. You can at least be a man and admit it. Admit what? Why did I say that? Why do you say that? I'm through with you, forever. Maybe it's good I don't have a girlfriend anymore. Maybe now I'll stop doing stuff I didn't mean to do and saying stuff I didn't mean to say. So, you and the Ma's business is your business. But if you two aren't hooked up anymore, look here. I'm available. Oh. Ow. Well, what is this? A to-do list for, for taking care of me? Kind of, Kenny. It's just something to help Terry out. Max, I am tired of this. From now on, I decide what happens to me. Not you, not some doctor, and, and definitely not Terry. You, you, matter of fact, she's fired. <laughs> Kenny, I'm tired. Let's just not go into this right now. There is nothing to go into, Maxine. Your sister is fired. Okay, now you're just being ridiculous. Did you hear what I just said? I need the help, Kenny. So do you. You know what? I will take care of my own damn self. Okay. We're just gonna talk about this later. Are you are ready to make some sense. Now, how am I not making sense? I don't want to fight. Okay? You know, Maxine, why should there even be a question about me making my own decisions? I said I don't want to fight. All I'm trying to do is tell you that I want to make my own decisions. I don't see why there should even be a question about that. I mean, Terry comes up in here and... What you, what you doing? Yeah. Uh, I don't want to fight either. 